Hello, my name's Richard. And my name is Tina, and this is our house, which we've been eco-renovating for the past nine years. Come inside and have a look. Our main reason for doing the eco-renovation were environmental reasons. We wanted to reduce the energy use and carbon emissions from our house. But there are also other important practical problems that we wanted to solve, including damp, condensation on the walls, soggy floorboards and slugs. And so the recent work we've had done in, in here solves all of those problems because we've had underfloor insulation done, which you can't then see, and we've had internal wall insulation done, which you can, but only if you look really hard, because it's not at all obvious that we've had that done to this room, which is actually quite a good benefit. Um, this is what the material looks like when it goes onto the walls. You have to take the existing plaster off, so it's quite messy. Then this gets put onto the walls using steel pins with insulated covers and then it's replastered again using lime plaster. And you can get a very good result, as you can see. Um, and what we've also had done is we've had the coving redone. And so I don't think most people walking into this house would know we've got internal insulation. This is probably the only place you can actually see that we've had insulation added internally. Here, where the door, the door frame has been extended. So we added 60 millimetres of insulation, that's about two and a half inches but in most places in the room it's completely invisible. Okay, well here's the start of the process, the pile of insulation in the conservatory and the first panels going on. Here you see those, those, those first panels being pinned onto the wall and uh, our renderer, very skilled guy, um, started to mix up the render which then protects the, the, um, the, the insulation. Here he is doing that, working his way up on a, on a scaffold. And then we turn to the inside of the house, and this is the sort of horror story of what the, uh, the floor looked like once we took the, um, the, the, the damaged floor up. Um, and then it was completely rebuilt with, with the insulation in, in place. Here's some of the detailing of the, uh, some of the ceiling around the bay window that needed, uh, needed to be replaced. And um, the area around the door, the kitchen door, that you um, can see with, with the insulation uh, being pinned on there before, before the rendering. And then finally, here's a picture of the same, the same scene with, with the internal uh, render going on, which is a kind of lime-based lime plaster. Sadly, as it turns out, the main key to saving energy in houses is probably the least interesting thing, which is the insulation. That's what we've got to get right if we're really going to save a lot of energy and carbon. It doesn't look very high-tech, but this is the material that we've used for insulating inside and outside the walls on our house. It's a wood-based material, 95% um, soft wood waste and it's screwed onto the walls and then you covered it with lime plaster and not only does it insulate really well it also helps control the moisture movement with inside the house so in a house like this, an old house that's prone to damp problems it can be really useful because it keeps the internal atmosphere much more steady in terms of moisture and that's nice. So slightly more exciting is uh, solar hot water. We uh, decided to do it as we were doing some of the other building works. It didn't cost too much and essentially it now delivers around about half of uh, the hot water that we need and so particularly in the summer months it's, it's, it's producing all of the hot water and currently the tank is around about 63 degrees. On the prettier side an attractive addition to our front room has been these rather lovely double glazed wooden sash windows. Um, the double glazing is filled with an inert gas so they're really nice and efficient and we hope that they will last for a hundred years just like the original windows did. So well, we've been saying that detailing is very important and here's an example. Uh, at the top here you've got the, the, the wood fibre insulation that we've been talking about with the render coating on to keep, it, uh, the, keep the rain out. But down below we need uh, a different kind of insulation. This is the conventional sort of phenolic foam type of insulation uh, which can deal with the damp that, that might rise up from, from below. Uh, the other detail you've got here is the air brick uh, which uh, lets the air circulate underneath the suspended floor. Again, for the reasons of, of avoiding damp. Something simple that anybody can do is get a water butt to collect the rainwater off their roof. So um, we've got two, this is our bigger one, and we use them for watering our garden. We don't use any tap water on our garden and it's great. Okay, well thanks for taking this whirlwind tour around our house. We hope you found a few ideas um, that might help you with your eco-renovation. If you're in Oxfordshire, you could look at the Climate X website, which has got a lot of good local information. There's also national sources of help, particularly the Energy Saving Trust, energy companies, local councils. There's all sorts of people out there to help you make the right choices.
Slightly more exciting is the solar hot water, which um, allows us to get um, no, 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 hot water from the sun. <laughs> 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 but in a technical way, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, and ready? Composure. Okay, thanks for taking that. Are you laughing? <laughs> I'm sorry.